Welcome back to a new episode of LinuxMonster.net. My name is Stefan from OpenSchoolSolutions.org and today we're talking about how we can maintain our image, how we can update it and yeah, install new software, make changes to settings, whatever. So here we are on our second client. As you see 100 PC02. We could also use our first one, but it doesn't matter, but it doesn't matter that much because we have the same image on both systems. So we log in with our Linux admin user and enter our password. The Linux admin user is a special user here in our setup because it is a template user for our home directories for all of our users like students and teachers. When you're working in a server client environment, normally you have normally the whole home directory is saved on the server. So all the settings or data is also saved on server. This is what we can do here too, but normally in a school it's enough if we just save the data, documents, pictures, whatever on the server and all the other data like settings are local on the client because much faster. You don't have to transfer a lot of data over the wire and also less load on the server. So let's open the terminal and I want to show you some configuration files. So we have our all our Linux Muster client files here. And you see we have the AD SSO conf file. And here we can see our template user. And our template user is a Linux admin user. You can change to another user if you want. And we also see the um, <coughs> we can also see the template directory. It's our home Linux admin folder. Okay, there are some other files here. So we have the shared folder. We can uh, rename this like shares on server or we have the home dear of the user where all the pictures data is saved. Um, we can save home on server. Okay. Here we can change the settings I just talked about. If you want to use local homes or want to use the server homes on the server. So we leave it as yes. Here's like a school share name. We just put it to school. And we have the teachers shares. Just call it teachers. And the student homes. This is just folders for if teachers logging in. Student homes. And yeah, server settings, just call it like this, settings. Okay, so here we have our proxy URL. We haven't set it up yet, but we will do it later. Swap file, fine, no problem. And here we have the configuration for SSSD. This is a tool, the software that takes care of, yeah, all the communication with our server network setup. That's all here. Okay, fine. Exit and save. And let's look what files we also have here in this folder. Okay, then we have the file links. Oops. Links.com. So here we have all the um, links. So we, for example, our home dear Downloads folder get linked to our to the server home downloads folder. If it's not there, it's it will be recreated this by create here or um, we change here to documents and this will be linked to also documents in the server. We will change um, this builder to pictures and here too. Music. Okay, maybe we don't need this folder, so we just uncomment that. It's just templates and videos. We can leave like this. Okay, exit and save. Let's see what other files we have here. Okay, let's see what else we have. 
we have the user profile conf. Here we see that um, the Firefox profile and Thunderbird profile are linked by default. So all settings we do in Firefox on the Linux admin will also be for will also be there for all of our students. Okay, for example, if you set bookmarks or change other settings in Firefox. Okay, let's see what else we have here. In these folders like login as root or on boot.d or login d, logout d. These are folders where you can put your scripts if you want to change something on boot or if if a user logs in you can and you need to run something as root you can put it here or if you need to some uh, running a script in a user context here or you want to do something on logout you can do here. So just put your script here um, and then it will rerun during login or logout or on boot. We will do some other changes, for example, just let um, change the on desktop, some another image, for example. Let me say we want to change to this picture. Okay, close. And now we also will open Firefox. For example, we want to make a bookmark, let's say google.com. And we want to create a bookmark, so we press Ctrl D. And we want to put it, for example, in our bookmarks toolbar. Okay, done. I may want to bookmark some other link to open source .com, for example. And going to bookmark this page here too and also save it in the bookmarks toolbar done okay good before i want to create an image um, we want to clear the history so we go to preferences privacy and security and go to clear data and you want to clear cookie content, clear, clear now. And where's our history? Here's our history, clear history. Let's say I want to clear everything. Side preferences, everything. Okie dokie, okay. So all is deleted. Okay, now we're done. We can go here and reboot our client and create a new image. Okay, here we are back at our client and we go to imaging tab again, enter our password, uh, disable the timeout. And here we now create a new image. Click on image, create image. And now you see we have Xubantu Club um, pre-selected because this is the image we use on this computer. So just press here in the middle, create and upload. And now a new image is created and uploaded to the server. Okay, image is successfully uploaded to the server. Here we are back at our first client. And if we press this yellow button here with the two arrows, it will looking for a new image on the server and download it. If we press the button and there's no new image on the server, no problem. It will just take the image from the cache partition and resync this client. This is very helpful. For example, if students messed up a computer or they did something, changed something and you want to reset the computer, just boot Limbo here and press this button and then the computer is back to your running state. Okay, but here we press the button now and it will look for a new image and now you can see it starts downloading the image and syncing it to the partition then and start the client. So let's wait. Okay, image is synced and now it gets rebooted. Okay, here we go. Let's log with another user account. And then we should see that all the changes are applied too. So we see new background and if we start Firefox, then we should also see our bookmark. 
That's it for today. Today we've learned how we can update our image and change settings, create a new image and then deploy it to another computer. In the next video we'll talk about PostSync, another feature of Limbo where you can manage different computers with different configurations but just one image. Okay, hope to see you soon. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos about open source software that you can use in your school.